Um, I'm really looking forward to seeing this virtually. I will be present at every possible talk or every possible walkthrough that you offer. And I'm really looking forward to seeing the collaborations, collaborations that have been such an intense part of this pandemic, bringing together galleries. I really want to discover wonderful artworks, give me insight into our world and life today. For this edition of the show, I'm particularly looking forward to Yan Vo's presentation at Takeni Nagawa, as well as Fox Wen Chun and Firenze Lai's presentations at Vitamin. That said, the experience of physically being in Hong Kong is something I will sorely miss. I would miss supporting and checking out all the great exhibitions my colleagues have put together during the fair month, as well as catching up with friends over amazing food and drinks. And most importantly, I will miss that sneaky massage. I will always manage to book and squeeze in between meetings during the crazy fair week. We are using this video uh, as a send off for um, a work called Companion. In attempting to do this uh, project together, we have been developing a series of bi-weekly uh, conversations using Zoom as a platform to connect artists uh, between Thailand, the Philippines, and Indonesia. We would just ex like to extend our warm wishes and prayers for the success of Art Basel Hong Kong. In the meantime, uh, we'd like to send off the video. We have a great group of paintings, sculpture, photographs, and other works of art going to the fair. The painting you will see is very luscious and has many different colors in it. It depicts Frank Auerbach's studio inside, a place that very few people have seen because he is incredibly private about his studio. This exhibition departs from uh, the archive of a late Hong Kong artist called Habik Chun. When we look at archives, especially sort of large amount of information, we may feel lost. So what the exhibition tries to do also is to present these moments of clarity in a form of sets. When an archive becomes accessible and different people can go look through it and do different things with it, I think there's a process and a possibility of discovery. It just nurtures curiosity.